Hey guys, welcome back to Peps Got The Tea. And we are gonna do a timeless message today. So we gonna get the collective's energy and see what's going on. Thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell and let's hop into it. All right, so Holy Spirit, that is most high. What is going on with my collective? What's going on with my collective, Holy Spirit? What is going on with my collective? Communication. Communication. Um, a lot of you guys maybe are wanting to communicate something to somebody. Or someone is wanting to communicate something to you guys. Um, <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you guys are working on grounding yourselves as well as transferring energy it's a positive thing so let's put some tarot on this stuff what is this communication about holy spirit what is this communication in regards to what is this communication what is this communication card a body y'all want to talk to heart or y'all have people wanting to talk to you about something that's been on their heart so what is this communication holy spirit a lot of you guys are wanting to communicate an ending to somebody. Um, it might involve a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, but I feel like a lot of you guys, um, a lot of y'all have been thinking about, y'all looking at the fact that y'all been in y'all head in regards to something, something that y'all were very passionate about. And it's like, at this point, y'all ready to just put an end to it. A lot of y'all are really contemplating and considering like, yeah, a lot of y'all are wanting to put an end to this so that y'all can either A, attract y'all real emperor into y'all life. A lot of y'all been dealing with things and y'all realizing that it's not what y'all want. So y'all are wanting to put an end to whatever you got going on to either attract your emperor or to get into your emperor energy. I feel like a lot of y'all are in the energy of healing over heartbreak. And it's like y'all just want to be happy at this point. Let's see. Any more messages, Holy Spirit? Yeah, a lot of, um, it's been a lot of conflict. So a lot of you guys might have been experiencing, you know, harsh words or you guys have been fighting with, with your passion. Three, five. We might got some smokies out there. I've probably been smoking a lot. But I definitely feel like um, there's been a lot of conflict. In regards to heartbreak and i feel like a lot of you guys are just wanting to walk away from everything a lot of y'all are ready for a new offer let's see what is this eight of cups holy spirit what is my collector trying to walk away from a lot of y'all are walking away from a person who y'all feel like needs to grow up that's why y'all are like i'm about to put an end to this so i can attract what's really for me yeah. A lot of y'all are walking away from a person um, that has hidden intentions. I feel like a lot of you guys, y'all dreams have really been speaking to you guys in regards to this situation. Or maybe you guys have been asleep on y'all dreams because y'all been dealing with this situation. Because Ada Cups, that's a lot of emotion. That's damn near shit. Two more, that's gonna be on my cup. So a lot of y'all emotion has been going into a situation, and I feel like it's been distracting. What is this hidden intentions? Yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all, y'all are in the energy of you know y'all are changing. Y'all are. It went from eight of cups to now it's like shit. Whatever. I feel like a lot of y'all are just y'all don't care at this point. A lot of y'all are in a very just nonchalant energy. Spirit is telling y'all to pay attention to y'all dreams, especially if y'all wake up feeling sad. A lot of you guys have been feeling sad because y'all know that them changes is coming. Y'all been seeing 555. Five, five. At this point, it's like y'all done went through so much in this situation, y'all don't even care. Some of y'all might have somebody blocked. Yeah. Some of y'all might have somebody blocked. I feel like y'all cut off somebody. My collective have recently either cut off a family member, a friend, or a love interest. 
And I feel like this was somebody that there was a lot of love for, but I feel like now this person put a bad taste in your mouth. Now, a lot of you guys are planning. This could even be this person planning. We're going to look into that. What is this person planning? Who's planning? Yep. A lot of y'all are planning to, if y'all have been experiencing depression, sadness, um, a lot of you guys are planning to either get rid of a karmic partner. I feel like this could also be that that's who's planning this karmic partner. I feel like whoever you guys were dealing with, they had some karma to play out and they've been having this karma to play out since September. So now, you know, they are in the energy since you blocked them of really planning. But ain't no angels around this. Yeah. Loveless. Go for it in reverse. I feel like this situation feels loveless at this point. But this person doesn't want to be cut off. You might got, a lot of you guys might be dealing with Capricorns. Um, or you might be Capricorns, or just, I don't know, a lot of you guys are really just wanting to block this situa situation out and hustle. I feel like, um, as well, I feel like a karmic friend um, did something sneaky back in September. There's a Pisces out here with mother issues. This is karmic friend. Some of you guys might be hearing from an airy soon and they're going to be telling you that they miss you. It might be a child's mother or a child's father. They're going to be telling you that they miss you because of the kids or the kids miss you. What is this sneaky behavior in karmic friend in reverse? You haven't even been seeing the signs. Hmm. I feel like a lot of y'all, um, y'all had a friend that did something real sneaky behind y'all back. I feel like y'all don't even know. Clarify this. And it's because this person, y'all got somebody that's upset at the fact that y'all don't want to be bothered with them. But because y'all been faithful, um, whether it's a friend's family or a relationship, and you know, people do weird shit and you keep true to yourself, you get blessed. So if y'all been having money issues, um, that's definitely about the, you know, you about to be straight. If your intuition has been feeling off, because I feel like a lot of y'all been feeling blocked, you about to be straight. What is this spiritual? I feel like a lot of you guys too are waking up more so to the spiritual world. I feel like in the past, if um you were the type of person that grew up, yes, okay. Whatever you're thinking, yes. But if you were the type of person um, that grew up like in a real religious family and certain spiritual practices, um, you know, they would just brush off or rub off. It's like, you know, oh, that don't work. And this, that, and the third. I feel like motherfuckers been eating the sage. Motherfuckers been eating the manifest. People been seeing signs, birds, numbers. Some of y'all being freaked out. Some of y'all people even been, you know, getting freaked out. But I feel like y'all are more so welcoming a spiritual lifestyle now let's see what is this temptation some of you guys have a spiritual father uh. hmm some of y'all um some of y'all fathers I don't know who this is for specifically, but I feel like this is only for like I'm hearing one or two people. Um, y'all father is falling into temptation again. It's something that he went through. I don't know if he um like dabbled in drugs back in the day, or if there was some type of it was some type of habit he had that was like harmful to him. And he's tempted to go back to whatever that is, be it a habit, um, a drug, a person, a lifestyle. He's tempted. 
he's experiencing mental illness at this time as well. So I feel like a lot of stuff is not, like he's not really thinking clearly. So you might want to check on him. This gave me like drug vibes because dog is in reverse and that's not loyal. That's disloyalty. As well, sexual abuse. Ooh. I don't know if there is a um a Aries mom out there that's in a situation. I feel like you lost love. Um Ooh. There's an Aries out there that doesn't have a good relationship with their mom. This Aries has kids, but this Aries has no love for their mom because the mother, I don't know if she knew about the sexual abuse that was going on. And even if you're not an Aries, um, the situation could have involved an Aries. Your mom could be an Aries or whoever else was involved could be an Aries. But I feel like it's somebody, oh, Whoever this is, just like understand things happen and it affects you differently. But try to talk to somebody, try to get help because you are not yourself right now. And you don't want to get to the point where you jeopardize your life, your lifestyle, your health, anything, you know, just due to what you've been feeling. But I definitely feel like um, you have to do what's best for you. So if you feel like going to court, whatever it is in regards to, because somebody going to court in regards to sexual abuse and they want somebody to leave them alone. So I'm hearing like a restraining order or order of protection. Do what's best for you. Pull two cards. Okay. No commitment and go. But they both uh, in okay. So what this tells me is, um, I feel like there's somebody out there, um, more so on the spiritual path, and in the past, if it was certain things they would not stop doing, or the fact that they were rough from commitment, I feel like this person has changed their mind. Let's see, put something on this. Get your shit together. Who need to get their shit together, spirit? Somebody, uh, I got some people out there too. Y'all been checking y'all energy and y'all know that something is off, but y'all really haven't acted on it. It's time to go ahead and start cleaning up. Start fixing whatever is going on. Like I said, finances. Start focusing on y'all money. Doubling that income. Yeah. And y'all have to really think stuff through. You can't just say you're going to do something and don't think it through. You can't just say that you're going to make something happen and don't think out the entire process because that's how you bring that to you. Somebody is out here feeling used. What is this you use? Man? Pull two cards. What is this you use? Man? Give me two Holy Spirit. A karmic... So I feel like some of you guys um feel like y'all got used by a karmic and y'all don't want to be bothered by this person. I feel like spirit really opens y'all eyes to this person's intentions. Yeah. I feel like this person probably played off your trauma. And they encouraging y'all to exercise to burn off some of that steam. Ooh, what's up with March? Yep. This person played off y'all trauma, but I feel like back in March, a lot of y'all healed from certain family traumas Um, with karmic family members. I feel like it's something that y'all left in the past. I could be talking to some Aquariuses. Um, and we also have... What? Come on now. We got some Aquariuses out there with multiple sex partners. And this could even be, uh, it was a result of the trauma, family trauma. But I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to practice discipline. Um, whoever this is. Mm. Let's 
just give me vibes that somebody went back to an ex. It's like past loves. It's new love in reverse. Mm -mm. Pregnancy in reverse. Clarify this pregnancy in reverse. I feel like somebody is a bit emotional because they lost a child. They lost a, um, a baby. They were pregnant and I feel like they lost it. So they've been a little emotional. So I feel like that's where the multiple sex partners is coming in. I feel like they're going back to like exes now because they lost their child. This person is not really cleansing how they should. And they listen to a lot of like music that's having their emotions go even crazier. I feel like by July, somebody, whoever this is, um, somebody's going to be begging somebody to like answer the phone in July. What is this? What is this? Divine time in reverse. Whoa. What is going on? Something got pushed back. Something that was supposed to happen already got pushed back. I feel like childhood wounds um, were brought forth. Yeah. Somebody might be getting messages um, that something hasn't played out yet because there was black magic at play. Um, something that was supposed to have been had happened. Divine timing, but black magic was at play. And somebody's going to get messages in regards to that. Whoever I feel like was um, was doing the black magic, I feel like they're going to be damn near blowing a person up and begging them to pick up by July. It could even be before July. But this person could have been even doing magic since last July to throw off your focus. Um, focus is a big, big thing right now as well. Spirit is saying focus before y'all lose y'all self. My divine feminines out there, y'all need to focus before y'all lose y'all self. You don't want to lose your divine essence. Inner demons, unconditional love in reverse. I feel like um, part of my collective, y'all are dealing with somebody that's really dealing with their inner demons. And it don't matter how much love you give to this person or present to this person, this person need to, you know, they need to get right. Get it right, get it tight, bubble spark. <laughs> For real, they need to get right. And I feel like this person, whatever situation this is with this person, you know that they fighting their inner demons, you probably can look at them and tell sometimes. Yeah. Especially if their eyes be fluttering a lot. They sleeping patterns. You you could tell. Um, there is a Scorpio out here that's addicted to somebody. Mm. Okay. I feel like um, if somebody went off on one of y'all... This person knew exactly what they was doing. This person was frustrated. But I do feel like um, it's somebody out there, once they car, whoever I'm talking to, you're dealing with somebody that once they car um, situation gets worked out, um, you're going to see this person's true colors. You're going to see their inner demons. So just make sure you got a, a good schedule going for yourself already so that you don't have to really form your life around this person because you're about to see somebody's true colors. Yep. Tired moment and spiritually cut off. Somebody was spiritually cut off. Somebody made the wrong decision. Somebody did something and now they trying to... Nah, ain't no fixing that. Now they want to align their chakras and stuff. No. Nah. Repenting is in reverse. So somebody out here did something and they know what they was doing. And they still chose to do it. So that was intentional. And that's why they got spiritually cut off. I think Divine Masculines had that yesterday in their readings. So, so to those that I'm talking to, man, y'all need to get it together. Be right back. Yeah, spirit about to let y'all get y'all ass up. It's like when y'all go to school and y'all be trying to pick fights. And your big sister be like, you keep trying to fight people. I'm going to let them whoop your ass for a little bit. Then I'm going to get them off of you. Yeah. So this person is unapologetic for whatever they did. And this is what's causing this separation. So spirit is just encouraging y'all to just focus on healing. Get y'all some crystals. 
do y'all work, you know, express how y'all feel, but focus on healing. Let's see. True. Let's see. Pay attention to your health in reverse. Um, a lot of you guys probably had um a health scare back in November. I feel like um y'all better now. Y'all had to probably make some dietary changes or just change y'all habits. It was something that affected y'all early morning. Um, oops and reverse. What is this oops and reverse? Finances, protected, divine masculine in reverse, sister in reverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I feel like some of y'all are dealing with somebody too. A person that they call their sister or say is close like they sister. Um, something intentional was done. But just know that y'all are protected. I feel like y'all going to be like, wow. When y'all figure out what happened in this situation, y'all just going to be like, wow. Like, to be honest, because y'all weren't even thinking about this. And y'all basically gonna be just telling this person like to leave. Y'all are really this this collective is really fed up with somebody. Somebody is very sneaky. Somebody is very sneaky. You are home to me in reverse. Mm -hmm. This person don't know how to focus on themselves either. This person don't know what home is because they don't know how to focus on themselves. And they are very impulsive. So they just do stuff. Yep. Somebody has a very bad judgment of character. And I feel like whoever this is, this person likes, I'm not going to say they like drama or trouble, but it kind of like keeps them going. Like their life wouldn't really be too much anything if they didn't have some crazy stuff going on. Let's see. We're going to get a few more. What's this about August. Something with a Taurus. What's this Holy Spirit? I feel like some of y'all, um, if y'all were dealing with the Taurus or if you are a Taurus and you were going through, um, and you were going through like a breakup or something, I feel like y'all were fully healed by August. I feel like I'm talking to some May Tauruses out there. Um, we got some Virgos out there. I feel like, what is this? We got some Virgos out there that are hiding their feelings. I feel like, um, nobody but you in reverse, thinking about you in reverse, hiding feelings. Music in reverse. Clarify this. Gemini. We got some Virgos out there. You guys might be dealing with Geminis or Tauruses. Um, I feel like we got some Virgos out there. Whoever y'all dealing with, I do feel like maybe y'all are thinking about, you know, taking it the long call. But y'all hiding y'all feelings. Y'all don't want to tell this person. Um, we got some people out here changing paths, third party in reverse, and make a decision. Um, might be a Gemini, might involve a Gemini, or just this might be just a person with a double life. I feel like this person is changing paths to not deal with third parties anymore. This person didn't want to make a decision, it might involve a Leo, but whatever they did, it enforced a separation. Somebody did something that changed the past. Let's see. Yeah, so if you're a Leo or a Gemini, um, you guys are going to be changing paths really soon. Somebody is out here inspired. Oh, Yeah, and this separation is going to inspire somebody um, to realize that this person is going to realize that whoever they're separating from, they need this person. And they're really going to have marriage on their mind. But this person is going to go into isolation and they're going to need to seek guidance. I feel like since February, um, 
whoever this is probably has been experiencing daddy issues, father issues, child's father issues, whatever it is. Well, this person needs to take a cleansing bath because we got some people out here thinking really negative. If you've been having really negative thoughts, I would encourage you to take a cleansing bath. We're going to get a few more and get up out of here. Some of y'all just found out that somebody ate y'all soulmate. Y'all not surprised though. Y'all knew better. It was in regards to an ex. Y'all knew better. Be careful. You need to eat better. Shot of work in reverse. Yep. All that situation shows you was that you needed to be careful. I don't know if there was a broken, um, something with broken trust or it's something. Y'all need to eat better and y'all need to stop avoiding y'all shadow work though. A lot of times we keep exes and stuff around because we are what? Unfucking healed. Heal that shit. Because all you're going to do is keep going through cycles and you fucking up other people's lives, fucking with their emotions and shit. You, you feel me? Like everybody, be teachable. Always be teachable. Yeah, baby mama, baby daddy issues. And y'all intuition. Whoever been having um intuitive downloads about y'all child's father, father or mother, yeah, y'all intuition is on point. Yep. We got somebody that's happy with their pride and ego. Somebody is happy, but their pride and ego plays a part as well. Um, hmm. Play a play in reverse. Somebody is finally happy. Give me uncle vibes. Might be our uncle. Or it might be somebody uh, born in December. That's an uncle. Or it might be since December, this person has been, like, happy. Um, I feel like somebody really is dropping their pride and ego. I would encourage that y'all listen to Prosperity Tones. We don't end this because I'm already at, like, 20-some minutes. So what is the angel advice for this particular group, Holy Spirit? Take pleasure in the things that you do. Honor and give thanks for the blessing that you're about to receive. And the universe has heard your call, your silent call for help. Now, y'all need to do more things that y'all enjoy that came out yesterday. Do things that y'all enjoy. Life is not about just working until you die. Do things y'all enjoy. That raises y'all vibrations. That puts y'all in a better energy. It makes your mind, you know, function a little bit better because you're not so stressed. And you can think of creative ideas or financial ideas. And on top of that, you need to give thanks for the blessings that you're about to receive because y'all about to get some financial blessings. We got some of y'all not about to touch some coins. I hope I won't be seeing y'all name on that PPP list. But hey, that's another story. It's not my business. But... <laughs> And the universe has heard your silent call for help. So help is on the way. 555 is transformation. A lot of you guys are going to be seeing transformation happen right before your eyes. And the angel of clearing, your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. Y'all about to get clarity on a lot of things. Just honor and give thanks. Clear out old negative thoughts and feelings. And then it says someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings of what others say. I told y'all, somebody is being sneaky. Somebody, y'all intuition is picking up on it though. Somebody being sneaky and they're not telling the truth. And it's going to come out. Trust your intuition of what other people say. Just focus more so on, like I said, creating a schedule for y'all selves. So that y'all could be in the habit of, you know, already grinding. So when whatever this information is that come out, it won't affect y'all. It'll affect y'all. Don't get me wrong. We ain't robots. But it's not going to affect y'all as much if y'all already have a system going on. You preparing. You feel me? Like, especially if you get feelings. Like, I'm not saying if y'all cool, it's not for the people that's sitting up there. Y'all cool. Everything going good. This is for the people that's feeling that weird ass. I know something going on, but I can't put my finger on the feeling. All you got to do is let shit play out. It's going to play out. The answers will come to you. Pay attention to your dreams. Write them down if you need to. You know, do things that you enjoy. Keep asking God for help and be open to the answers he gives you. And thank God for the blessings that are about to come into your life. Thank y'all for tuning in with me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and hit that bell. And peace. Thanks for having me with Pips.